Moving on to the nervous word roots. Okay, so we'll start with cranio. So cranio, um, like cranium, the cranium is part of what structure? What structure is the cranium a part of? Cranium. I got this quartz. That's right here. What is, what is all this? This is a skull. Okay, so the cranium refers to the skull. Uh, it's part of the skull. So here's inside the cranium, of course. Um, the cranio means skull. So, of course, inside the skull is the brain. Uh, that's, that's why it's part of the nervous word roots, not just the uh, skeletal. Um, protects the brain. Of course, the cranium, very important. Moving on, dendro. Now, this, this refers to the dendrites that we have attached to neurons. Okay, so coming off of a neuron, so neuron, coming off a neuron, we have dendrites. And dendrites, it, the suffix it, means little, small. Okay. What do they resemble? What are, they're, they're small what? What do they look like? They kind of look like small trees, and that's what dendrite means, right? So dendro means tree. It looks like small trees coming off the body of a neuron that receive action potentials and bring them into the cell so that the cell can be so it can process that information and send it um, along an axon on its way to another nerve or a muscle, wherever it's wherever it's heading. So dendrite, little tree. Okay. Encephalo. What do, what does encephalo mean? Like encephalitis, encephalopathy, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, encephalopathy CTE. Um, examples of encephalo. Now, this is a term that you can actually break down into smaller parts as well. N, E N, means inside. Okay. Sep means head. So, what is inside the head? What is inside the head? Well, I mean, theoretically, it would be here. It would be here. It's not here right now because this is just a, a skull, but inside the skull would be the brain. Right, encephalo means brain. Okay, so it's encephalitis, inflammation of the brain. Okay. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a brain disease caused by repeated blows to the head, uh, cause brain damage um, over time. Okay, so uh, encephalopathy, brain disease. Okay, moving on. SEO, like uh, anesthetic. What do you think? Anesthetics, an means without. Aesthetic would refer to anesthetics without sensation. Okay, so anesthetics are going to kind of numb the body uh, quite a bit. So local and and general anesthetics have you know different properties and and are used differently. A local anesthetic is something you get dental work done and they and they put lidocaine in, in the gums, right? And that's a local anesthetic. Whereas a general anesthetic is something that would that would put you to sleep and go working over your entire body, right? So um, aesthetic, anesthesio means sensation. So anesthetics against, without sensation. Okay. Neuro, like a neuron, or neuralgia, pain, algia, pain, pain of what? Remind me what system we're talking about now. The nervous word roots, right? So the nerve. Neuro means nerve. A neuron is a nerve cell. Neuralgia is nerve pain, neuralgia. Okay. And then synapto, like a synapse. So what is a synapse? If you know what a synapse is, you should be able to figure this out. So a synapse is a point of contact. Synapto is a point of contact. So you, you have the nerve endings where they where they discharge their neurotransmitters, right? That's that's a synapse. Um, it's a point of contact. Okay. 
So that is uh, the nervous word roots.